My name is Dean Ruggles, and I'm an animator here at Sega. And right now, I'm animating the main character of a new game. And my job is to create the character and all the actions that he's planned to do. Um, running and jumping and throwing and kicking and all those very fun things. Um, it's more fun to watch when it's finished than to watch me do it. It's kind of slow. It takes a long time to make an animation. You can see here on the screen what I'm, I'm doing is um, when I see the whole action in motion, I can adjust each individual frame until it looks like a correct action. If he's jumping too high, I can lower him down a little bit. If I want to add a little drag on his hair, so he has a ponytail that follows behind him, I can add that. When you add drag, it adds an illusion of movement. And ponytails and loose clothing are really fun to do because they help to uh, con help convince the illusion that this object is natural. After a while, I can clean all this up and it will look more natural. After I get all the motion down, it takes about two days to get the whole ac action finished. And especially a character like this, which is fairly complex. But the burning question is, how do you get a job at Sega? What I did to get this job was I did a lot of things on my own at first, and I showed that I understood the, the medium, um, the computer, and, and uh, limitations of drawing with big pixels. Did he say pixels? went on my own and, and did my own film. And that, that was part of my portfolio. I showed what I could do. It's uh, the art director and the senior producer that come and criticize. And they say, well, um, make him skinnier, give him more muscles, make his shoulders broader, make him green, uh, give him a different kind of jacket, and make the action quicker. Um, do it in fewer frames. The games are all pretty quick. Um, you do them in a matter of months. Get it over! Of course, there's always someone responsible for keeping the troops moving along toward common goals. At Sega Technical Institute, they're more like cheerleaders urging the team on to victory. Hi, my name's Dean. I'm producer at Sega. My job uh, is basically to oversee all the projects that uh, Sega and STI specifically do. Um, I have a responsibility to look after uh, Sega's money, uh, the money that they've invested in the games, and to ensure that the games are of uh, the best quality we can make. One of the big games we're doing uh, and uh, have been doing here are the Sonic games, and I've got a, an example up here on the screen. <laughs> This is uh, Sonic 3, which was uh, produced here at STI. Um, I get sent uh, pre-production versions of the software, which I uh, play on my Sega Genesis, which is exactly the same machine as uh, some of you have probably got at home. Um, I check that the software works properly, that there are no problems or faults with the game, that it plays well and that it's a lot of fun, um, and ensure that there are no um, areas where people will um, find dissatisfaction with the product. It's an overall quality assurance kind of role. The route to get into uh, producing video games is uh, not very clear. There's all different sorts of backgrounds that people come from before they uh, come into this. Um, I actually started in medicine, um, to give you some example of how diverse um, the people are that come into video games and producing. Um, I did medicine for a few years and then uh, my love for video games was, uh, was too powerful and I changed careers to uh, come into this. Other suggestions of how you can become a producer are usually to come through design. If you've got great ideas for games, um, you've been uh, working on paper or you've uh, planned out how your great game would work, um, you can try and approach companies and suggest that the games ideas that you've got are worthwhile and uh, come in through design. Design some games, show that you know what you're doing, and uh, ultimately that will lead into a position of responsibility where you can look after games that other people are doing um, and help them with their designs and manage it on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, experience counts for everything, so uh, the best thing to do is make a few games, understand how these things work, and then gradually work your way up to a management position.
Hello, I'm uh, Adrian. I'm a technical director at uh, STI, um, which means that uh, I'm basically a programmer, but I have uh, other responsibilities as well. Programmers are, are the people that are right in the heart and the soul of the program, of the game. Uh, the programmer is the person that really makes the whole game work. Uh, there are uh, basically the responsibilities of the programmer are to uh, write the program that is read by the game machine and the game machine interprets that program and basically displays the game. And the uh, the, the person that writes the game program is very much like an author of a book. Math skills are very important. Um, if I show you this board, these are the sort of uh, these are the sort of maths that go on in in doing a 3D game, which um, are going to become more and more popular in the future. Programming of course, is, is, a, is a vital skill. That's something you can pick up um, just from, uh, from talking to friends and doing it as a hobby, but also it's very useful to go to a college and find out how to do it properly and uh, professionally. We use this computer here. Um, this is just a normal um, PC that people use in business every day. Uh, we hook it up through a lead into the, uh, the Genesis. Um, which is exactly the same as the one people have at home, into this box here, uh, which we stick in the cartridge slot, and we can send a new version of the game. A new version of the game through this wire into this box, and uh, then run it like a normal, like a normal Genesis. We can stop it, we can see what's going on, we can stop the screen, we can start it again, we can, we can, look, at, we can look at all the, uh, all the variables, all the, uh, all the registers of the machine and work out exactly what's going on um, and that helps us find any bugs, any problems with the program um, before, before we uh, release the game and uh, get lots of complaints from, uh, from the purchasers. From the background to the foreground, women are finding career opportunities open to them in the video gaming industry as well. Hi, I'm Marty, and I'm a, a computer graphic artist at Sega of America, and um, I'm a background artist. I got into the industry because I was attracted to the, uh, the fine art aspect of computer games, and I uh, worked as an illustrator for many years. and saw that this industry uh, was uh, em employed uh, graphic artists and uh, illustrators. And I create the backgrounds over which the, the animations will be overlaid. And these are basically the, the backgrounds um, to show the, the play, the gameplay of the, uh, of the games and the, the environments that the, the characters will act out the, the games. I'm working uh, with, with a computer and, w and next to a uh, television screen so that I can draw and then transmit to the television screen and see what the game will look like when it's actually uh, viewed on the television. As you can see, I'm moving a stamp around on the screen. Now, this is a stamp that I can draw once and then pick it up with the, the pickup tool and stamp it um, any other place that I might want to use it. If I change pages here, then I can use it at another place in, on the play field where it might repeat. And if you want to get into this industry, you need to have a solid background in traditional art and illustration and uh, really uh, study your, your basic anatomy and uh, traditional illustration skills. I feel that, that there are many, many talented women who, and girls who would like the opportunity to use their artistic abilities and the, the gaming industry is a very new industry in its, I think it's in its infancy and eventually there'll be more and more 
uh, girls who will be attracted to the industry because they love to draw just as much as men love to draw, or boys love to draw. And as the industry grows and matures, I think there's going to be more and more opportunity for women in this field, just as in the film industry. So you see, there's always hope, even if artistic skills aren't in your repertoire, a lot of other ones certainly are. So good luck and keep playing. Tally-ho! Bandit at 2 o'clock. Copy. Bogey is make one.